Okay, so as today is uh, approaching the Christmas season, oh, there are my smokes. Uh, I thought it would be, initially I intended to uh, do a little talk about, you know, the value of work for men and that sort of fulfillment and things like that. But, change your mind and decided that uh, I'm going to talk about Christmas from a cultural and secular standpoint. Because one of the things about Christmas is it's truly inclusive. At Christmas, the Christian uh, ideal of charity, the principle of Christian charity, is expressed more than probably any other time of the year. And let me just tuck these back in here. There we go. Uh, if you guys watch For Fuck's Sakes Friday tomorrow, which, for the record, it'll be Fuck It Friday, because it's Christmas. Uh, I think I got over the 30-second mark before I started swearing. Excellent. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I have something special for uh, the Christmas uh, finale for the, uh, for the year. Um, after today's video, or sorry, after tomorrow's Friday video, I won't be doing any more of my own content uh, until, sorry, with the exception of Sunday, which will be Christmas Day. Hmm. Actually, I won't be doing anything on Christmas Day either, because, as I'm about to point out, I do actually celebrate that holiday from a cultural... Oh, that's either weather or a car. Uh, I do celebrate that holiday from a cultural standpoint. Uh, for me, Christmas, being an atheist, doesn't really have a lot to do with God or Jesus. And yes, I know there are Christians among you who are probably somewhat outraged by that, but bear with me, I think you'll understand. Uh, the, the way that Christian charity is promoted during the Christmas season is shown in all sorts of media. In movies, we'll see people offer strangers a place to come and have a meal, uh, all sorts of other sorts of things. Um, and of late, uh, the last few years especially, it's been almost de rigueur for leftists to find some reason to get down on Christmas, whether it be the supposed uh, lack of diversity among white Europeans who celebrate Christmas. Christmas is a... I hate to tell you, but it's actually an Asian holiday. Don't tell anybody. Yeah. The whole Bible story actually happens in Asia. That's why mustard in Chinese food is actually really good. Yeah. But, <laughs> I know. Uh, but, for me, the meaning of Christmas is to get together with family and friends. And just to share fellowship. Which is one of the things that, as an atheist, I very much miss about being a church-going person. The problem is, it's often as difficult to find a quote-unquote good church as it is to find a good circle of friends. And it's far easier to make friends than it is to find a good church where you get along with everyone, which I imagine is probably damn near impossible. But, as I said, for me, and especially this year, as I'm in a new relationship uh, with a woman who happens to be an absolute Christmas freak, which is kind of wonderful, really. Uh, kind of beats the cynic out of me a little bit. Uh, not that there's all that much cynic in me. Uh, as anyone who watches Discordant Dragons is aware, I tend to be the more hopeful and less cynical of the panel. Uh, at least as far as I've noticed. Um, but uh, when it comes to celebrating Christmas, yes, the gift giving is there. Yes, the spirit of family fellowship and uh, forgiveness is there as much as it can be. It can be very difficult depending on how functional or dysfunctional your family is. Um, but one thing that I would really like to see is that no one celebrate Christmas alone. Go through this part of the year alone. Not simply because Christmas can feel exclusionary for some people, 
but because this is the darkest time of year in this hemisphere. And that's depressing. And not just depressing because it makes you feel blue, but depressing because there's actually a medical effect called seasonal affective disorder that affects people at Christmas. I'm one of those people. I take vitamin D to, to ameliorate those symptoms. Um, I take a fairly high dose of vitamin D, I think, uh, about 5,000 IU a day, uh, which I do increase during the darkening period of the year from about mid-November to about the end of December, once the solstice, excuse me, once the solstice has passed. Uh, but as far as, um, the idea of Christmas as a time to be charitable, it absolutely should be. It's one of the foundations of the Christmas holiday. One of the things that Christmas was built on. And... I, for one, tend to really hope that people have a good Christmas. Not just because, you know, it's absolute trash to be alone at Christmas. And as someone who's experienced extreme depression around this time of year, uh, at least once to the point that I attempted suicide, um, I can tell you that being alone is no fun at Christmas. And there's really no need of it. If all else fails and you just need to be around people, go to church. Any church that practices true Christian charity is going to welcome you in. Whether you're a member of their faith or not, if you walk into... I'm... I'm here's, here's where my optimism and my idealism come in. I firmly believe that if I walked into a church, even as an atheist, on Christmas Eve and said, I just want to be around people, I'm sure I'd be welcome. And I'm also sure that anyone who looked at me and said, no, you're not welcome, deserves to burn in hell. But I'm not Christian, so what, what's my judgment really worth? But regardless of what holiday you actually celebrate, whether it's Diwali, Hanukkah, um, I believe there's an Eid or... Um, what's that really big one in the most Ramadan? I know that these, some of these holidays kind of rotate and move around through the year. And it doesn't really matter if you're celebrating the pagan Yule or the Christian Christmas or whatever the Zoroastrians do at this time of year. I'm fairly sure they do something. I think the only people who don't are Scientologists. And dear God, why would you want to be part of any religion that doesn't give you holidays? <laughs> um, but one of the things that really matters to me about Christmas is that it's one of those few times of year where the innocence of children lets you vicariously experience the wonder of Christmas again. One of the things that's really touching for me this year is that, and it's one thing that I'm extremely grateful for, is that my girlfriend, my new beau, my new fiance, well, not fiance, um, ma petite rose bleu, one of the things that we're going to do together is celebrate Christmas with her family. And she has some younger children. So I will have the ability to have that wonder vicariously again. And it really fills my heart up. It's a beautiful feeling. And I wouldn't wish a shitty Christmas on anyone. That said, there are some people who might deserve one, but we'll leave just stop oil alone. <laughs> but if you're not a particularly celebratory type at Christmas, then maybe go and do something good for someone else. You know, if you don't really feel like taking part in the religious side of Christmas, you don't have to. But go out and do something charitable if you can. 
go volunteer somewhere at an SPCA or a food, uh, food kitchen, a food bank, any number of things. Volunteers are always wanted at this time of year. And you don't have to do anything gigantic. You don't have to give a massive donation. In fact, I'd prefer you didn't, because a lot of that money gets eaten up in administration. And the practical effect of you actually showing up to do something is boundless. It's not just good for whoever you help. It's good for you. It actually makes you feel really good as well. So, I mean, I've made a couple of gifts for family members. Um... And for my new girlfriend, uh, one actually very funny joke gift that I can't wait to see the reaction to, uh, or at least hear about if I don't happen to actually be able to be present. Um, kind of the issue when I have my own family uh, se separate from hers, and we live a significant distance, a significant enough distance apart that it might make things difficult to get together on Christmas itself. But more than anything else, um, it's really going to be wonderful to just spend time with people. And even if you don't have a lot of friends or a lot of family around, you can always find people who are willing to share Christmas. So, you know, go out and try and find some people. Make a human connection. Yeah, go, sorry I took a moment to think through that, but yeah, definitely go and try and make a human connection. Because when it all comes down to the final analysis, the only thing we really have to prove that we were ever here at all is the memories we leave behind. Don't be Ozymandias. In any case, folks, uh, considering I'm coming up on 1225, it seems like a good point to stop this. So, you all have good days, and uh, rise and rise again until lambs become lions. Bye-bye.